In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters coming together, celebrate the love of Christ. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, your chief shepherd of the flock, Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your cross, you forgive us our sins. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your resurrection, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest Saint Lawrence of Brindisi a spirit of counsel and fortitude, grant we pray that in the same spirit we may know what must be done and through his intercession bring it to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as of the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy. Restore us, O God, our Savior and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you ever be angry with us, prolonging <coughs> your anger to all generations? Lord, Lord, show us your mercy. Will you not instead give us life and show not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was uh, preparing my reflection in today's uh, gospel, I found it you can preach many things on this small, very short part of the gospel. I was wondering here and there because there are a lot of ideas. The first thing which came to mind is that his mother and his brothers were outside. Outside, what does it mean? How can we reflect on that? Who is an outsider and who is an insider? Then after that, Jesus said, who is my brother, who is my sister, who is my mother? And even in that, he can reflect more. But for today, I, I chose to reflect on the last verse which says, Jesus stretched out his hands towards his disciples. He stretched out his hands. In one of the Eucharistic prayers, especially in the second Eucharistic prayers, we have the priest prays and in the preface states saying, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. He stretched out his hands. We find that powerful image of the Lord stretching out his hands several times throughout the gospel. The Lord stretched out his, ha his hands and touches a leper in order to cleanse him. Remember when Peter, commanded by the Lord to walk on the water, begins to doubt and starts to sink. Then the Lord stretched out his hands to Peter to save Peter, the rock of the rock from sneaking, the first and the head of the disciples. So in today's gospel, Saint Matthew proclaimed those who do the will of the Heavenly Father to be his mother and his sister and brothers. Do you notice that what he did with his hands? He stretched out his hands. Extending the hands is a beautiful gesture depicted often in the scriptures. Psalm 144 asks God to stretch forth his hand from on high to rescue us and save us. 
While Isaiah speaks of God stretching forth his hand over all the nations to fulfill his plan of salvation. Moses is even commanded by God to stretch out his hands over the Red Sea that the Hebrew slaves may be, might be delivered safely from their Egyptian captors. So extending a hand is a gesture of healing, a gesture of saving. And the sense of today's gospel, a gesture of incorporating. This gesture is used quite often in most sacred liturgical prayers of the church. The priest stretches his hands over the bread and wine, calling down the Holy Spirit over the gifts which have been placed on the altar. We call it liturgically epiclesis, the descending of the Holy Spirit. He stretched out his hands over the water of the baptismal font and calls down the Holy Spirit as a blesses, uh, bless the water for baptism. Though you, you often can't see it as the priest prays the prayer of absolution and the sacrament of confession, unless it is face to face, the priest stretches out his hands to the penitent. Again, the priest stretches out his hand over the sick and the dying and the sacrament of anointing. The bishop, during ordination, he stretches out his hands over the candidate to be ordained as a deacon, as a bishop, or as a priest. So in all the sacraments, we do that. And really, in God, those three actions, saving, healing, uniting, are one. To the extent that we are united to God, we are saved and healed. Because Jesus stretched out his hands out on the cross. We are able to be saved and incorporated into the very life of God. We thank God today for stretching out his hands to his, inviting us, blessing us, and healing us that we may walk as disciples of the Lord and stretch out our hands to those in need. And as I was reflecting this, really it touched my heart. Because two weeks ago when I, uh, I gave my mission appeal here to support our community, the Eritrean the right community, Saint Monica, all of you, you stretched out your hands to help our community. That is what Christianity is. You stretched out your love to support our community. So I would like to take this advantage to say thank you, each and every one of you, for those who showed us your love, your gift, and you supported us more than what we expected. It is a blessing to be part of this, of this parish. So I would, I would say thank you and God bless you.
Trusting in God, let us present our petitions, our prayers, and our loving God. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials, may God's compassion and justice guide them in serving those they represent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who find themselves unemployed, may the Lord help them find work to support their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord keep us steadfast in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our faithful departed, especially for Renata Donahue, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they soon rest in the loving arms of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and loving God, we present these prayers as an offering to you, and we ask you to hear our prayers and to answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Your spirit and contrite heart will be accepted by your Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight stay pleasing to the Lord God. Wash me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Lawrence of Prendisi, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is through right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
for us on the festival of Saint Lawrence, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his life, of his, his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child's hand once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child's of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until he come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the, his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Archbishop, Isabel and Daniel, auxiliary bishops, Peter Sartan, retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, ye take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, ye take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase 
strengthen from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Lawrence that we may preserve in the integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.